Hi everyone. I'm going to show you something that's really cool. It's made by Roland. A lot of people know it's out there, but if you don't, hopefully this video is going to be something that you'll enjoy. It's the V1 HD. Now this is a HDMI video switcher and I think this is actually pretty cool. For the amount of money they're asking for this, it has four HDMI channel inputs and it does a whole stack of cool stuff. But there are videos out there already on this and it shows its features and everything. But what I thought I'd do is I'll show you someone who doesn't really know much about the product, just got it, and I'm a musician and I wanna set it up with some cameras and show you how I can kind of control a performance. So let's get stuck into it. Um, first I wanna show you that you can switch between cameras really easily just by hitting the buttons down the bottom here. So I've got that camera view, this camera view here, which is the MPC Live. This is my laptop, which is running the, um, there we go, just enabled it. It's actually running the remote control software for the V1 HD. And I can, you can actually see my audio coming in on it everything's all connected by USB I can actually control everything from in here as well if I want to uh, there's a lot more features in this than there are available on the unit itself so this delves in under the hood a bit more for example you can actually go in and set up a whole bunch of system settings in here as well okay enough of that and I've also got on this channel something interesting. I've got a little video switcher here, which you can just see on the side. The video switcher I'm running into channel four. And I just wanted to show you that you can actually run more than four HDMI inputs on this with the use of a video switcher. And this, this video switcher that I've got is just a cheapie and it takes three inputs. You can get bigger ones. And I've currently got two cameras running off of this. So the first one is my um, Canon camera. The second one is another GoPro camera. And that's pointing over here with some gear. Now you'll notice that's upside down too. So one of the things that I can do on this is flip the screen. And you'll notice that when I did that effect, it's on and off on the actual uh, controller. And I'll show you here too. Uh, let's go back. So I turned, turned it on there. And I can control it from there. The point of the switcher I think is you can switch to another channel across here and then flick the the switcher across to the other input and then go back because those switches they do take a little bit of time to switch across so flick to another channel switch you can see it flashing there go back go back switch Notice it flashing here, and then go back. So that's pretty cool, it's a cool feature. This has a whole bunch of features. I can fade to white, fade to black. The whole, the whole bunch of effects that are in this is massive, and you can see here, I can assign any of these effects to these effects channels A and B, and I just think it's pretty cool. One of them that I've done is on 
channel A and it's a little posterize effect and we can, we can adjust that as well and we can bring that back out again so yeah as you're doing a performance you could actually just run the output of this into a video camera and record it in, straight into a video camera that takes a HDMI input or you could run it into a laptop that has a capture card um, in this case I've got a Avamedia capture card running in my in my PC and um, it's recording the output of this it also has a preview output as well um, I'll just pop a screenshot up right now of what that preview output looks like in fact, we might even be able to swap the HDMI cables. Let's just give that a go. All right, we'll try that. Okay, there we go. There's the preview output, and you can see that it's got the four screens. And so you can constantly see what's happening on your preview output. So that's pretty cool. Let's go back to how it was. It's pretty quick. Um, I'm just running the HDMI preview into an, uh, another computer monitor so that, that's pretty cool all right let's do a little bit of a muck around I'm just going to mute the audio 